Hi, I'm Matt Hughes, nine-time welterweight champ in the UFC. Welcome to Plyomix Impact, the total body shaping and endurance stage of Plyomix Ultimate Fitness System. Plyometrics is an ancient training technique that incorporates rapid muscle contraction with explosive movements like jumps, bounds, and skips. It's the most effective way to attain maximum speed, strength, and power. In the Plyomix Ultimate Fitness System, I've taken Plyometrics to the next level by combining it with the ancient power of mixed martial arts. Plyomix Impact will maximize total body power and tone every major muscle group. That's why strength training is one of the most vital components. This is the absolute perfect workout for you if you're a serious athlete or just want to train like one. Over the course of the next 30 minutes, I will reveal how Olympians and other elite athletes build their lean yet powerful muscles to propel them to the top of their game. By training like an ultimate fighter, you're going to strengthen bones, muscles, tendons, and ligaments. This will help you to avoid injury and take you to the next level. Not only will this muscle mass help give you a lean and sculpted appearance on the outside, it will reduce fat on the inside. I'd like to introduce you to my Plyomix team. This is Jennifer, Alan, and Lauren. And of course, I'm Matt Hughes, nine-time welterweight champ of the UFC and creator of the Plyomix Ultimate Fitness Program. Plyomix Impact is an in-your-face workout that produces real results in body and mind. With this workout, you're going to look your greatest and feel your strongest. Let's see what you're made of. Hi. My name is Jennifer Gallardi, and we're about to plow through some serious strength training techniques designed by Matt, our very own ultimate fighting champion. Every athlete's body is made up of two types of muscle, slow twitch, which are used for endurance, weightlifting, running, and even daily activities like picking up your kids. The other muscle fibers in the body are considered fast twitch muscles, which are used for plyometric training and also lightning fast movements. Matt's strength training techniques are going to work both types of muscles to push your body to its athletic peak and burn maximum body fat in minimal time. So we don't take breaks and we don't skimp on the weights. You will need a bench, jump rope, and the appropriate weights for chest press and bicep curl. We'll plow through a series of strength exercises and repeat them for the ultimate results. Always follow Lauren, one of our Plyomix athletes, for beginner modifications if you don't have a lot of strength training experience. However, if you want to ramp up your workout, look to Alan for some advanced modifications. You'll be alternating between lower body and upper body moves so that you can give your quads a break while you're working your biceps. Don't let up. You're going to see and feel results that you'll love. Remember, no breaks during this ultimate workout for both those slow and fast twitch muscles. As you continue to strength train with Matt, you might find that you can increase your weight. So go ahead and do it. This workout is not meant to be easy. Use the proper weights for your level and work with that as you build strength and stamina. These drills are tough, but stick to the workout and you'll see and feel the results in no time. With Plyomix Impact, you'll reach your body's full potential. Let's go. All right, Lauren and Alan, you guys ready for your warm up for the Plyomix Impact? Yeah. All right, let's go. We're gonna start forward and back jogs. Go ahead, Alan, you lead. Jog it up and back. Just remember, it's just your warm up. Just start and getting the heart rate up. Stay on those toes. Good. Pulling the core up tall. Getting that blood pumping. Keep going. Good. Keep those knees up. Let's go, guys. Good. Let's do one more pass. Keep it up. One more. All right, Alan, as soon as you get back, take it to the skip with the punches. Skip with punches. Punch it out, guys. Get some height there. Nice job. Keep the momentum going forward. Drive the knee up with the abdominals. Engage the core. Upper body and lower body going at the same time here. A little bit of coordination. 
Woo. You guys warm? Go, Lauren. Nice, Alan. Get some air between you and the mat. All right, Alan, take it to heel walk. Heel walk. Toes back. Bend those knees. Stick your butt out and pull the lower abs in. Bend those knees, Alan. Bend those knees. Good. Toes back. Nice, Lauren. Take it back. You might also feel this in the shins. Don't forget we need to warm those up as well. Especially with some impact moves. You want to strengthen that part, of the, that part of the leg. Take it all the way. Good. Jog it right back to center, Alan. We'll join you in four, three, two. All right, guys. Standing windmills. Just windmill those arms back. Warming up the upper body. It's going to be really important for the strength training we do here. Keep the lower half of the body moving. I don't care if you jog, if you step, whatever you do, keep it moving. Good, big arm circles. Let's take it back to a jog, guys. Woo! All right, let's switch it, bring them forward. Big arm circles, big motions. Warming up the back, the upper body, shoulders. Good. The chest with the forward momentum. Woo! Good. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. You're going to step, pull down. Stay on the toes, keep the knees soft. Really pull down through the lats here. Focus on the back. Just as if you were doing a lat pull down, warming up those muscles. You guys warm? Yeah. Nice. Keep the lower body moving. Get that cardio up. Up. All right, guys, let's take it to a pull back in front. Front. Open up that chest. Really squeeze in between the shoulder blades. Good. Keep the arms moving. Warming up the hamstrings by kicking heel to butt. Keep breathing for four, three, two, one. All right, guys, grab those weights we told you to have. We're going straight to squats. Excellent. Remember modification, if your weights are too heavy, take no weights. Good, your feet are gonna be a little wider than hip distance. You're gonna go down, set the butt back, watch the knee doesn't come over the toes, sink the weight in the heels, keep the chest up, and we're gonna pull it up to squeeze at the top, slight pelvic tilt, belly's gonna pull back towards the spine. That's the most explanation you're gonna get, so we're gonna take 15 right here. Let's go, guys, take it down. So you're driving off the heel. Shh. Whew. Shh. Keep that chest open, guys. Don't sag down. Don't let the shoulders drop. Shh. Push up through the legs. Shh. Pulse at the top. Hold it tight. Four more. Three more. Two. Always looking up. Shh. Nice. Good, let's take it in front of your bench. Tricep dips. Modification, both feet on the floor. Al and I are picking a leg up off. Give it some extra weight, you guys ready? 15, go. Shh, shh, shh. Try and go for a big range of motion. Come on, Alan, you're my expert here. Shh. One easy workout for you today. <laughs> five more, guys, five, count them with me, four. Three, two, one. Excellent, a quick shuffle onto the bench. Make sure the hips are hanging a little bit off. Toes pointed down. Alan and I have ours in a V. Coming together, Lauren's going straight up and down. 15 glute hammy raises. Here you go, take it one, up. Get those legs straight, Alan, squeeze them together. Nice, great, Lauren, relax the chin. Relax your upper body. It's all about lower body here. 
Great. Nine, squeeze. Feel those inner thighs coming together. Legs straight behind you. Engage the lower back, guys. Form looks One good, more. looks good. Great, guys. Flip over on your back. Go into our bench presses. Take your weights. Make sure your butt scooch far enough forward so when you go down, you don't uh, hurt, your head doesn't hang off the bench. Great. Engage that lower belly, push it in towards the step or your bench. Going for bench presses here. Five times single on the back arm. Here you go. One. Three, good. Four. Switch, five singles on the other side. Go. Nice controlled movement. All the way up and all the way down. And double, guys. Two arms. Go up. Make a nice little arc with that. Push the chest in. Pull the lats down towards your bench as you extend and press your chest up. Five. Good job. Excellent. Pick yourself up slowly. Roll up. Let's bring it up to deadlifts. Come in front of that bench. Be careful with this one, guys. Might feel a little pull on the hamstrings. When you do, start coming up. Weight's hanging heavy. Pull the shoulders down and back. You're gonna keep this open chest, flat back, belly pulled in as you slowly extend down, letting the rear go back, keeping the chin up in line with the spine. You can bend your knees a little bit. As you come up, engage the back of the legs. Again, draw that tailbone underneath you by pulling the belly back into the spine. We're gonna take 15. Here you go, take it down. Nice and easy. Like Matt said, it's about the controlled motion. You don't want to just fly through these. Pull on your hamstrings. Shh, we're trying to strengthen them. Good job. Good job, Lauren, Jen, Alan. How about this one? How does our form look, Matt? It's really important. Looks really here, good. Right? Alan, let those weights go all the way down and touch the mat. Don't let them rest on the mat, but let them touch the mat. Two more. Squeeze up through the back of the legs. Pull up as the string's going up. Last one. Great job.